Oh, what's your name? Peter. So, uh, Peter, what, how, how do you express yourself? What's your what's Start off by telling me my. It's called my small story. So All tell right. me uh, my small story. Well, uh, I have an education, and I went to college for fine arts. And uh, to support my painting, I started businesses like cabinet making. Yeah. And um, during the crash of uh, 2008, um, I lost my studio, everything I own. The only thing I had was uh, this little paint box right here and the clothes on my back. And I went into the shelter and uh, I uh, started painting in the shelter on small cardboard because even my paintings were auctioned off in the uh, yeah, my shop because there's a lot of cardboard boxes all over all over shelter so yeah so I started cutting up cardboard and and using the paints I had and I started painting and uh, eventually I got lucky enough to get scattered site housing which is supportive housing okay. for people that are in shelters okay and um, I started doing this on the streets. Hmm. Something I never would have done if I. Uh, you, I mean, know. you weren't painting before, though, were you? you oh yeah, you I, I, well I was, but not like every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was getting sidetracked into you know doing cabinetry and whatever to support my art, and eventually gotcha. I just ran a business. So. Uh, cabinetry, high-end cabinetry during the crash, you know, the upper class and, and the people that could afford custom cabinetry yeah. were going to Home Depot. They so this is where you make, how you're making a living now? Yeah. How's it, how's it going? I mean, um... It's good. I, I just got a, uh, I did a show in Harlem in December and, uh, then, uh, a couple of people started collecting my work and I just got a gallery. It's awesome. Uh, Congratulations. Yeah. Want to talk to you about some of the pieces? And then yeah. uh, which one in particular or tell me which one? Well, uh, I guess... Any stories behind them? Yeah. Um, well, again in the shelter... And I'll give you a copy of this, by the way. Again in the shelter, I guess I started uh, visiting the library and studying Latin, which is something I always wanted to do. Okay. So uh, some of these paintings have uh, Latin in it. And... Um, Basically, the way I paint now, it's like really about life. Uh, like it's more, it's more real. It's not contrived. It's like what happens every day. What, what's going on for me? Which is use, recycling now, yeah. and um, really whatever I'm studying. And and because of the Latin, uh, I started studying that, and and it went into my paintings, and people liked it. Yeah. And. Uh, so that's what I do. I, I paint uh, what whatever interests me. How do people find you? What's the email address or, or uh, how do you find They just Google Prior and then put a CV on it. P R Y O R C V. Okay. And how much do your work go for each? Um, they go between ten and uh, forty. And uh, with the gallery, they're showing my work. It's going to be a lot more, but okay. it's try. I try to make it affordable. I mean, I want. That are walking by to get yeah, yeah. Any advice you would give to people would, who are going yes. through some, That's what I really want yes. to get to. Uh, I would say, you know, after the initial shock of like not having things the way you want, if things are, yeah. you know, falling down around you, to really dig deep and look at what your skills are and don't wait for somebody to help you. If I had waited, I'd still be in the shelter. Yeah. So this is what I did because this is what I know. But yeah. you, you have to go outside the box, especially in these times. You can't wait for a job. I found my, you know, what I really meant to do. Yeah, you did. And I know for the rest of my life I won't do anything but what I really want to be I doing. I totally agree with you, dude. It's better, it's be better to struggle with a passion than to struggle have no passion. It, yeah, I always say it's better to be a struggling artist than a struggling carpenter. Especially yeah. since, you know, I yeah. spent over $100,000 on my education. Where'd you go to school? Uh, uh, Pratt. Oh, great school. Yeah, yeah. I, I got a master's there. and You know, I, I got sidetracked in supporting my work. Yeah. And, and instead of going directly yeah. 
and that's what I've done now, and it feels what is it, great. What is it like being a, uh, how would you describe yourself, a street vendor, a, a would, pop-up store on the street? How would I you describe would say yourself? I describe myself as a working artist, and I take advantage of the fact that artists in the 90s uh, advocated in the city uh, as freedom of expression, and all I do is I sell my art, and rather than try and go through the gatekeepers of galleries, I said, you know, yeah. here it is. Yeah. You judge. How difficult is it? To, did, did the police stop you? Do you have a license to be on the street? Um, or? I have a, a tax ID. Yeah. And uh, I've been an artist paying taxes most of my life yeah. when I earn en lucky enough to earn enough yeah. money. And, uh, you know, now it just looks like I'm able to survive on my work. Yeah. I don't live. You know, with cable, <laughs> yeah. but you know what? I don't have time for cable anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's it's working for me. Oh, thank you. And, uh, great, I hope great. other people, if other people do come by and get inspiration from this and say, you know what? Let me take a risk and do something I want to do. Well, I guess the big inspiration is when you went to the bottom, you, you got yourself out the box and figured you should be out here. You're out in the sun trying to make your dream come true. Right. Right. And um, saying hello to people as they talk about. Exactly. So, yeah. I have people coming by <laughs> yeah, yeah. and I learn. Yeah. I get as much I get as much as I give. And that's like what's great about it. Cool. Thank you, man. Great story. Thank yeah. you very much. Yeah.